Welcome to the second activity in our Mini Maker Power Pack Kit. Today, we're going to build a basic switch to turn the power on and off in our circuit. The switch will act as a break in the current running through our circuit. By pressing the switch down, we'll be able to turn our LED back on. We're going to use the same circuit setup we used in our first activity where we tested conductivity of different materials. Complete this activity to the point where the LED turns on. If you've added other materials to your circuit, remove them and make sure the alligator clips are connected to the Play-Doh. For now, we're going to put our circuit to the side. This activity will use some additional materials, including two pieces of cardboard, aluminum foil, sponge and scissors, a glue stick, rubber band, pencil, and one additional alligator clip. We're going to start with the cardboard, aluminum foil, and a pencil. Lay your aluminum foil flat and place the cardboard pieces on top. Use your pencil to trace all the way around each piece. If you can't see the lines too clearly, try using a pen or marker for this step. Then, cut the aluminum foil using your tracing as a guide. I've sped this part of the video up, but take as much time as you need. Now you've got two pieces of foil that match the size of your cardboard. Grab your glue stick and start covering one side of the cardboard with a healthy amount of glue. Once the cardboard surface is sticky, carefully place one piece of foil on top and rub the surface so that the foil sticks. Repeat this process for your second piece of cardboard and foil. There are two parts of your switch. Note that only one side of each piece is covered with conductive aluminum foil. Now, grab your sponge and a pair of scissors. Carefully cut your sponge in half. Place those two smaller pieces of sponge on top of one of your pieces of cardboard. Make sure that the sponge is sitting on the side with the aluminum. Grab your second cardboard rectangle and place it on top of your sponges. Make sure the side with the aluminum foil is facing in towards the sponges. Then, grab a rubber band and wrap it all the way around your cardboard sponge sandwich. As much as possible, try to keep your sponges towards the outer edges so that there's a gap in the middle. Now we're going to bring back our circuit. Make sure that everything still works and your LED turns on. Then, you're going to remove one of the alligator clips from the Play-Doh. This breaks your circuit and will turn off your LED. Clean off the metal end of the clip to make sure that there's no excess Play-Doh on the inside or outside of the clip. Then, take that same alligator clip 
and attach it to one end of your cardboard sponge sandwich. Make sure that the metal part of the clip is touching the aluminum foil. Next, grab a third alligator clip and attach it to the other side of your sponge sandwich. Here, you can see one clip is attached to the top part of my sandwich and the other is on the bottom. Take the loose end of that third alligator clip and put it into the open Play-Doh mount. Now, when you squish the middle of your cardboard sandwich, the LED will turn on. You'll notice that when you're not pressing these two sides together, the light stays off. When you press down on your switch, the conductive pieces of aluminum foil touch, completing your circuit. Now you can play around with your switch. Find the video about Morse code and see if you can learn to spell out a few words. And thanks for watching and making with us today.